In this video I'm going to show you how to get your business listed in Google Places. Google Places, they used to call it Google Local, but they call it Google Places now, enables you to get your business listed as a map listing in Google. And so when somebody searches for your particular business in your particular area, it's going to show a map with the location of your business on it. Uh, just to give you an example here, I'm searching here for restaurants in Glasgow Merchant City and if I scroll over a bit you can see that there is a restaurant listed. Uh, it's Guy's Restaurant and Bar and you can see it shows where this particular restaurant is and some information about it. You see they've uploaded some pictures and so on. And if you have a bricks and mortar business where you need to have customers come through the door this is a great way to encourage them to do that. Also when you have your business listed in Google Places it has a listing on Google Maps. Now here's the Google Map of the same part of Glasgow and you can see we've got Guy's Restaurant and Bar listed here so whenever anybody looks on this particular part of Google Maps it will see the advertisement for Guy's Restaurant and Bar. And it's a completely free service that Google offer. Okay, to get your business listed, what you want to do is to come to Google Maps for your country. Um, I'm in the UK, so I'm at maps.google.co.uk. If you're in the US, you'll be at maps.google.com and so on and then click here on this link where it says put your business on Google Maps. So click here and then you need to sign in with your Google account so I'm just going to sign in now it takes you through to this page and the first thing you have to do is see if the business is already listed and you do that by entering the business's main telephone number in this box here. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And then click here on Find Business Information. And it says, no address found for a business using, and the phone number there, add your information below. Well, I'm not surprised that it's not finding a business for this phone number because this is a made-up phone number, it's not a real one. So you then need to enter the basic information in here. You want the country, which you can choose from this drop-down menu. You want the company's name, or the organization's name, street address, city and town, county or state where appropriate, and the postal or zip code. So I'll just pause the video while I do that. And there we go, that's done. And you'll see that it shows the listing here above the phone number and it also shows a map which I'll explain a bit more about later on. Okay, if the company has more than one phone number you can click on this link to add those phone numbers in there. Then you want the email address for the company and its website. If it doesn't have a website you can check this box here that says I don't have a website. But if you do have a website it's a good idea to add it in because then people can click on the link from the listing. Then you want to enter a concise description in here. As you can see it says 200 characters. If you do put a description in, it's not compulsory, but if you do, make sure that it's got plenty of keywords that describe your business. And then you want the category, and this is very important. And you can have up to five categories that you can list your business in. Now let's say this is a law firm. And you'll see that it doesn't actually have a category law firm but it does suggest some alternatives. So let's say that this is an attorney and if you want to add another category 
let's say that this is an attorney that specializes in a particular type of case law then I could click here on this link to add another category and it would get listed as it says here you can have up to five then we have the service areas and location settings and you can choose the top radio button is set by default which is all customers come to the business location or you can select yes this business serves customers at their locations so for example if you provide services like delivery or home repair then you would click here on this radio button then you have the hours of operation and you can select them here or you can not specify and as it says here if you split the hours for example if you run a restaurant and it's open at lunchtime and then it closes in the middle of the day and then it's open again in the evening you can set that there then we've got the payment options and again if you have a restaurant or a retail store you'd want to check as many of these as apply as many of these uh, tick boxes so that your customers know how they can pay you then there's photos and like in the restaurant example that we looked at earlier on you can have some photographs in your listing and it says here you can have up to 10 so if you want to have the exterior of your building or a photograph of your products or like in the earlier restaurant example they actually had some photos of their meals then you can either upload them from your computer by clicking on the browse button or you can click on this radio button and upload the photograph from elsewhere on the web then there's videos if you have a YouTube video you can add a listing to it here simply paste the URL in this box here and click add video and then there's any additional details that you might want to add uh, you would put the uh, the category in this box here on the left and the details here on the right so you can customize it so that you can give as much information as possible to potential customers and you can see the examples they give here like parking available and yes so if you were going to do that you'd put parking available in this box here on the left and yes here in this box on the right I'll just scroll over a bit here and show you you've got the map and this particular map is spot on the address that I've given is a real address for a building in London the company is actually fictitious but the building is real and this marker is spot on if it was not correct I could click here on this link and then use the mouse to move the marker around till I found the right location for it okay and when that's done if you're happy with the information you can click here on submit then you'll have to validate the listing now in the UK this can only be done by postcard Google will send you a postcard and then you'll follow the instructions on it to validate the listing in the US you can actually validate it by phone they will call you and then you can simply follow the instructions that they'll give you over the phone when you're validating by postcard you can also have a contact name which is useful if the organization is quite a large one so it makes sure it gets through to the right person one other thing that I need to point out that's very important is when you set up your Google Places listing you must use a Google account or an email address that belongs to your business the reason for this is once the listing has been validated it will be tied forever to the email address that was used to set it up so if you have one of your employees use their own personal email address then if that employee leaves and you need to change any of the listings say 
your company moves to a different location or you change the opening hours or you change the phone number uh, you're going to have a bit of a problem so you want to make sure that this is your own company email address and your own company Google account so that if you ever need to log back in and change this listing you can easily do so. I've used my own Gmail account to set this particular demonstration up but because this is all fictitious that doesn't really matter but if you were doing this for real and certainly if I was doing this for real I would want to make sure that this was an email address that was linked to my business and then to complete your listing all you do is come down to the bottom and click here on finish and then that will set the wheels in motion to get your account set up and if you follow the instructions that I've given you in this video you'll find it very easy to set up an account on Google Places and Google Maps